this Friday's vlog was going to be about oatmeal. I was going to make some oatmeal. But I got a little distracted by tango dancing. Just give us some water. Uh, no, I'm good with my McDonald's Coke. Okay. All right. Just uh, more off for a couple? Yeah, let's do that. It's the third, or depending on the day, it's either the top three most frustrating activities I've ever done. Number one is golf. Number two is surfing. Actually, number one could be surfing. Number two could be golf. Number three is tango. But then when I'm doing tango and it's not really going well, tango is number one on the frustration factor. Have a look. I think one of the reasons why tango is so frustrating is because from my experience with it, there's three elements to the tango. There's the tango within you. There's the tango that exists in your partner, because you cannot do the tango alone. Just like that idiom, it takes two to tango. And the third is the spirit energy of tango itself. And the only way for the tango to really work is all three of those things need to get in harmony. Oh. You know what I want to try? Being natural. I want to try just being natural, speaking into this thing of glass, and just be natural. I don't have to be zany or quirky or any of that stuff. Just be natural into the camera. Because it's a natural thing, talking to yourself alone in a room into a camera. So the goal for this vlog is just to, just to remain authentic. I'm looking for full authenticity of self here. It's actually, it's a crazy dance because the whole thing is predicated on improvisation but in order to improv, you have to know the steps. It's very much like learning guitar. You gotta learn all the scales. Well, you don't have to, but in order to really be efficient at it and productive, you need to learn all the scales and then you do whatever you want. Tango, it's no different. But the craziest part about tango as, a, as the leader, as the male role, especially as a beginner, you're learning something, but you're also expected to lead it. That's a crazy concept. So you think you're on top of your game in life? Go check out a tango class. And why am I learning tango? I don't know, I don't have a clear answer. It's fun, it's a fine way to connect with other human beings. It's a great way to get out of the house because I, I can dance, I got rhythm. But here's the craziest thing. I have a recital coming up next Saturday night. I'm going to be doing the tango with my tango partner and one of the songs, it's going to be our dance. It's, all, it's, like, it's like the senior prom, but I'm 49 years old. Why else am I doing tango? I don't know, what did I write in my book? Oh, I'm doing it so I can, uh, so I can learn about myself. It takes one to break dance, it takes two to tango, and it takes three to screw on a light bulb. Vlog number two, in the can. I'm gonna leave you with some footage that I shot with my new camera. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Leave a comment about anything. Tango dancing, orange golf balls, the oatmeal that I didn't make, vlogging. Okay. Yo te voy a mandar. Hey, why you do that, man? The hardest thing for me about doing these vlogs is going to be cerebral continuity. And what does cerebral continuity mean? It means making these things make sense. It's going to be very challenging for me because this. 
I, you know, it's it's just a it's just a it's just like a minefield of of like discursive, distracted thoughts. I, maybe I need Buddhism. Hey, I'm not yet. Oh, I'm